Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to part 2 on how to use ACNH Mobile Spawner. For this video, I'll go over some extra settings that wasn't covered in the first part of my video. If you haven't seen it already, make sure to go watch part 1. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Now once you're connected, head over to the plus icon on the bottom right and you'll see 8 new tabs open up. Let's start at Money and Miles. On this section, you can see how much you have in your bank, your wallet, and your current miles and pokey values from the DLC. Make sure you hit on Load Values on the bottom, so it gives you the current readings from in-game. Now from here, all you have to do is click on the value you want to change, and then when you're done, hit Set Value so it's reflected in the game. So if you wanted to change the amount that's in your wallet, type in the new amount and click on set values. Once you do that, you'll see a bunch of confetti appear. This means that the changes were written in game. Now this tab is pretty self-explanatory, so let's head over to the turnips tab. Make sure you click on load turnips to see your current values for every day of the week. From here, you can set the value you'd like your turnips to be, or you can set them at 999 million that most of you are aiming for. Now on the bottom, you'll see an option where it says set all to 999 million. Click on set and you'll see all the values have been changed. Once you do that, make sure that you click on set turnips. Now the 999 million uh, turnip glitch is when you sell 30 turnips as a normal user, your bank account will be maxed out to 999 million. Now I won't show you how to do this in this video, but I will show it in a different video at a later time. You don't have to set the pattern or the fever start, so don't worry too much about those settings up top. Always make sure to press the set turnips like I did if you do make changes so that it is reflected in the game. Next, let's head over to the villagers tab. Now clicking on load villagers will bring up all the current villagers on your island. If you see a tree symbol on the left hand column instead of a villager, this means that there is no villager assigned to that house. If you like to replace the current villager, click on replace villager on the bottom and either search or type for the one that you like. Once you find one, click on send villager. Now you'll see that it's saving the villager and it's actually sending the villager into your game at this time. Sometimes you will have to go in and out of a building to see the current changes take effect in the game. Now another neat feature is if you have a particular set of villagers that you want in your game at all times, you can click on dump all villager data to save it. So if I wanted to keep all of these guys for next time, I could dump it and then I could send the villager data dump. Now I do have a villager data dump that I use for my other islands. So for example, I click on send villager dump. I click on the ones that I want. You'll see that it's actually saved with the villager names. And then you just click on open and you can currently see that it's uh, sending all villager data this may take a long time, just be patient with it and let it do its thing. Additionally, don't forget that you can also change if they're moving out and you can actually edit their friendship level. Now for most of you guys, you won't need the parser tab or the hex edit tab, so I'm going to skip over those two. But let's look at the value freeze. Now in order for freeze to work, you will need the latest version of SysBot Base. In case you don't know where to get that, my first video covers it, so make sure to watch it. Freeze is a really neat feature as it's basically item refreshing. Now you can freeze your inventory so anything in your pockets stay there no matter what. So let's say you can have an infinite amount of Nook Mile tickets in your pockets regardless of how many you use, even if it's in one inventory slot. No matter how many you drop, it will always stay as the same amount. Now map freeze does exactly what it says. If you are running a treasure island, you will have every single item on your map frozen. This means that whenever a new player flies into the island, they will always see a fully stocked island at all times. You will never have to manually reload a save again. Rest are all self-explanatory as well, such as being able to freeze your villager flags, your turnip prices so they never change daily or weekly, and as well as your wallet price. Just a quick note that freeze does remain active even if you exit out of the game. So if you are planning on loading a new save file, make sure you unfreeze all before doing so. If you happen to restart your switch, note that the freeze won't be active again upon reboot so you will have to freeze your values again. Now the last tab I want to talk about is 
teleport. This is really useful if you load up and you want to hop to a certain location on your island without actually running there because who the hell wants to do all that manual labor? Just go wherever you are. So let's say I'm standing in front of Nook's Cranny. I could type in Nook's and I could click on save current teleport location. Now once you do this you will see um, an option to teleport and all you have to do is click on that and your character will be teleported to that section of the island. Last but not least, let's head over to the map tools tab. Now there are a couple of options here. Let's look at item removal first. In this drop down, you can choose a particular item that you like removed from your island, um, such as weed, tree branches, fence, bushes. Now once you click on something, you can click on the remove every wood option for example and it will start cleaning up the items on your island. Now it does take some time so just be patient with it. This is a really neat feature especially if you have random items laying around on your island and you want them gone immediately. Now the next option down says map item refreshing see where it says generate template now this is another way to, to refresh your island however I do suggest using freeze over this option it is still very easy to use just click on generate template and then run the item refresher and click if you want layer 2 items refreshed as well just note that if you use the item refresher you will need to keep the mobile spawner app running however if you use freeze you can close out a mobile spawner and it will continue to freeze in game without having this application open. Now on the very top you'll see open map editor. Go ahead and click on that. Now on the bottom left make sure you click on fetch all. Now once you click on fetch all you'll see your current island. You can click on any section that you're on and the top part will actually show you the items that are in that part of your island. From here you can actually change the items or you can change the layer. Now you can also delete items if you go on the right side you can click the option to delete and then you can click on an item to delete it from your island. Another neat feature is if you click on bulk you can actually draw with flowers. Once you load an image, it will actually make the image with flowers on your island. Now this is pretty neat. It's not 100% accurate, but you can mess around with this and it's really cool on flyovers if you decide to do it. Another neat feature is if you go on the presets, you can see that there are preset items that you can load onto your map right away. So if you want all the DIY recipes alphabetized, all you have to do is click on that click on the direction you want it to be spawned. Let's do southeast and I can click on spawn items and you'll see that it is now spawned onto my island. Just make sure you click on back and you'll see it on your map where all the items are. Just make sure that whatever changes you do here you will want to click on the right option to have the changes in game. Just like the instruction says you might have to go in and out of a building to view the changes live. Now let's head back to the main screen and you'll see a toolbox item on the bottom next to the plus sign. Go ahead and click on that. Now you'll see two new options pop up. There is the time and speed option. Here you can edit the date and time of your island. You can also skip hourly or by the day. Doing this actually changes the time in real time and you can see it happening on your switch. Additionally, you can also change your text speed from normal to instant, especially if you don't want to listen to them talking for 10 minutes long, you can instantly bypass it by having instant text on. Now I do recommend putting instant text on if you are restarting an island and you want to get through all of the dialogue really fast. Also on the bottom, you can see that there are options to change your animation speed, your walk speed, and turning collision on or off. These are really good options, especially if you are terraforming your island and it would make things a lot faster. Just note that if you do change the time on your island, you won't be able to invite any players to your island. You will have to restart in order for them to come, otherwise they will be hit with an interference message. Another tab that you'll see is the virtual switch controller. Uh, this is actually really cool. You can open up a joypad and basically what you can do is control your character to move just like it mimics any controller. There is also an option to turn your screen on or off from here. 
This is really neat, especially if you are not connected to a dock and you want to save the battery life on your Switch. Some other small things I didn't mention in my first video was the ability to create NHI files. If you have some inventory items you would like to share with another individual or for you to be able to load up easily again at any other time, just click on that NHI button on the top right. Now this will give you the option to save it and load it up in the future. Lastly, on the bottom, there is an option for wrapping items in your inventory. Just note that you can't wrap any type of critters. Now this does conclude my video on some of the more advanced settings on Mobile Spawner. If you do have any questions, make sure to join my Discord and ask your questions in the NHSE Poker uh, Mobile Spawner channel or join the source directly at Barry Chance and asking the appropriate support channels. I'll have both links in the description below. I also just want to say thanks for supporting me and my channel. I hope you guys have a good time. Take care.